Despite my love for the Ant-Man franchise, I can agree with a lot of criticisms that people have talked about when it comes to the first two entries ahead of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, such as the fact that you don't really need either film and they can more or less be skipped. Many people even refer to the two Ant-Man films as palate cleansers, but it sounds like Marvel Studios does not intend to make that the norm for the franchise, as Marvel Studios VP is stating this is way more than a palate cleanser and one of the most important MCU films to date. So I've said it before, one of the reasons I love the Ant-Man films is because they feel like they're not really connected and having to constantly build up and answer multiple things from the bigger MCU. Which coincidentally enough, the argument constantly flip-flops every other year in regards to does the next MCU piece of content have to build up the next thing, or are we sick of it? Ant-Man has always kind of been this weird side project in many people's eyes. And again, many people, if you look back at the history of it, called it a palate cleanser. Something that just kind of drops and you can watch it, you don't have to, and it's probably not even going to be important in the grand scheme of things. But that's all changing. Speaking with Total Film, Marvel Studios VP said that this film is not like the first two, where you felt like if you skip the first two, you still know what's going on. This is not it. This is not going to be something that you can be neutral on. This is not going to be something that you feel like, hey, if I miss this, I'm going to be right there. No, this is important. They said that this has to be big. This is the third Ant-Man film. This is the introduction of Kang in his full force form. And this will be important. So the reason that they're building this up as a major factor in the MCU, and they're not shying away by saying that this is gonna be important to the upcoming Avengers films, is because it is. And they want people to know that if you've been sleeping on Ant-Man, it's time to wake up and, well, I don't wanna say sleep with Ant-Man, that don't seem right. Um, it's time to go um, I can't really work my way out of that one. So it's time to get on board, I guess. Yes, yes, that seems that seems good. That seems seems like a good way to put it. Yeah, so they want you to know you have to see this film. If you're going to want the fundamental understandings of why Kang is the big bad, what he's doing, his ultimate goals, and what impact he's going to have on the multiverse saga, this is the film. The saga's backbone is being built off of this. So it's going to be central to the future of the MCU, and you got to see this film, unlike the last two, which you could have just ignored, really. I mean, did you miss anything a whole lot? Not really.